Militaries all over the world trust Aimpoint as their preferred red dot optic. Must mean they're pretty durable, right? And we're gonna torture test the f out of it. First test, ice. We froze this optic for 24 hours. We talked to the people over at Aimpoint, point and uh, they said that the main goal of the stress test, really the only things we need to focus on is that it will power on and it will hold zero Jesus. after whatever torture we put it through. So we got a pop device, we got to crack it open. We zeroed this before putting it in. Let's get that hatchet and just ch chisel away at it. Make this block a little bit less, you know? You can see this is real ice. We did not use fake ice, no cubic zirconian ice. Real ice, real optic, real, well, real ice. Nope. <laughs> How's that thing looking, bro? Woo! Dang, that thing hella frozen. It's frozen. Keep breaking plastic chairs. Cabin, so we shouldn't see shit. <laughs> what just happened? What the hell just happened? The chair snapped in half. <laughs> so I brought a recliner. Rocking on the rocking chair. Is that thing still on? Yeah, I, when I put it in the ice, I turned it on. So it's been on in the ice for 24 hours. And it's still on right now. It's still on. Confirm, let me see. Yeah, it's a red dot. That's a red dot. That's a really cold red dot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. I mean, it's out of focus, but you can see that there's a red dot in there. Uh, so we didn't talk about the actual optic itself. This is the comp. M4S by Aimpoint. Very simple, very sleek. This is a two MOA, so it's a small dot. They focus on durability and strength and just not trying to over-engineer things and complicate them, right? There's an on button, the adjustability to be able to zero it and make sure it's shooting the right thing. It costs a thousand dollars on the dot. So this is not your Amazon red dot. I mean, there's a reason why the military's trust it, right? Like I said, easy install, standard little Picatinny rail attachment there. I know this seems like sponsored ad that we just did for that, but I promise you it's not. Like Aimpoint gave us the optics, so take that for what it's worth, but they were very clear and be as unbiased as possible. Do whatever you want to this optic. So we are clearly doing that. They made claims that they're like throwing things in the air a hundred feet and watching them drop thrown on a, on a gun and, and they're still holding zero. So we're going to do that. I mean, the reputation speaks for itself. So I kind of believe that it, they'll line up like that. Yeah, it, it's for a thousand dollar optic. You hope that it's going to stand up and it's obviously going to set itself apart. Uh, I should also mention that it's, it's completely sealed against the elements. That's why we felt fine doing the water thing. It's, it's submersible up to 150 feet. So right now we're running through concussion test we're gonna run a 12 gauge and a 50 cal using it uh, we obviously just did the full auto and then we're gonna go towards more element stuff mud running it over with trucks things like that how deep can submarines go that's too soon, too soon. so I installed this optic on a regular F fan scar and 556 semi-auto we're gonna shoot a coyote just over 200 yards Ready. Still holding zero. Can't believe it. I like how they kept things simple. It's pretty much a toolless mount. All you gotta do is slide it on your Picatinny and screw it on until you hear a click. So I pulled out my Terran Tactical 12 gauge in semi-auto that was in John Wick 4. And we're gonna try a torture test with this one all about concussion. See if we can handle it. Ready. Still ready to go. What gun we got now, man? We have the FN HS M150 from F and it's bullpup, bolt action, never shot it. I'm sure it's not like the Barrett. I'm curious, it's probably gonna 
punch me, but I'm okay with that. I can do it. How many rounds? Uh, this one has five rounds in it. Five rounds in it, 50 right. cal. Is this red dot rated for that concussion? We don't know. We're gonna find out. Messed up on that last clip. Sorry guys. I was thinking fucking FN, I don't know why. It's the Steyr Arms. And I'm anxious to shoot because I never shot, but I've heard good things about it. We're gonna find out. Optics still look good. Still solid, red still, I mean, everything's solid. Nice. No issue whatsoever. What you doing? <clears throat> digging, digging up all on. I have about a pound of mud on each shoe. That's how muddy it is here in North Dakota. Two hours since we buried it, but it's full of mud and caked in mud and solid mud. I guarantee I'm not gonna get the mud off my shoes for a long time, so it's gonna be on the optic. Let's find it. Okay, okay. All right, so it's quite muddied, as you can tell. Now we're gonna try and break it. It was an all-star pitcher for at least six years of my life. I had one no-hitter. Threw out my arm in that no-hitter, so. What are you throwing at? I'm gonna throw this black steel target. Shout out to our steel target sponsor, Matt, because he bought a bunch of steel targets from company. <laughs> nope. I saw that coming. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> wow, that was the girliest throw I've ever seen. Third time's a charm. We tried softball. Throw it over here. Tried baseball. Bonk. <laughs> All right, Matt. You stand here, you get one try. I'll give you a hundred dollars if you can hit it. This is where I was throwing from. Right here. You're right here. <laughs> one try. Hundred dollars on the line. But if he misses, does he owe you a hundred bucks? No, but then I get a chance to do it for hundred bucks. What about me? No, you don't need to. If we both miss, then you get a chance to do it for 200 bucks. Okay, go. It's really hard, Matt. Wow. Hit the wood. At least I hit the wood. My arm got thrown out. Maybe a ball. Okay, I'll do it like a real pitching so that I know. What the hell? Oh my god. Yeah, I hit the wood just like you. <laughs> it's Chad's turn now for. For 200 bucks. Nope. Ooh. Ooh, I got a good rock though. Nope. Ooh, nope. that was so close. I'm throwing my arm out. Nope. That was like there. getting tired. I know. <laughs> One more time. I had it. <laughs> That's too easy of a target to hit. Okay, go. Let's go, baby! Really good durability test. The sound of that Legion Target steel. Now right, we're gonna burn out on this optic. Put it right here. Burn out, Matt. I don't think it really burned out, but there it is. Ah! All right, Matt, mount this thing up. You got it. See if it, uh, if we can still hit that coyote at 200 yards. Well, it's probably Ooh. still on, right? See if it's still on. Well, I can't mount this on the gun due to this being crooked as hell. I can't get a good, all the teeth on it to grab on it. I mean, I think the hammer will make it worse personally. So the red dot's on everything else. If I could just mount it, I guarantee yeah, the, the actual hold. optic itself is it's sound. Working. Yeah, it's sound. Okay. It's just this right here. <laughs> All right, we took the axe to it, straightened it out. I beat the of it. It's on there. 
go see if we can hit a coyote. Yeah, I might try a different target. So far, it's on. Let's try a Texas Star. There you go, that's a hit. Well, that's amazing, guys. It still ran zero. Kind of hard to see out the optic a little bit because it's just so damn muddy. So, obviously, it's not for distance. But, you get the general idea, but it runs great. Aim point makes some good that's for sure. I'm impressed.